It's been less than 24 hours since Title 42 expired, and I talked to a family of four who was able to make it to El Paso yesterday, and they tell me they are so grateful they were able to make it to the U.S. before Biden's new policies took effect. Three months after leaving Venezuela with her husband and two kids, Yanalis Luceno still can't believe she made it on U.S. soil. I can't explain what I felt. I just broke down in tears, says Yanalis, as she describes what it was like after she and her family turned themselves in and were given a court date to see an immigration judge. Her husband Nestor adds it was vital for them to make it to the U.S. prior to Title 42 expiring. Inspiring. Despite surviving the dangerous Darien Gap in Panama and the so-called train of death in Mexico, Nestor shares one of the most challenging parts of their journey was struggling to get on the CBP-1 app that the Biden administration created to streamline the asylum-seeking process. No duerme, uno se paraba a las de la mañana, cuatro, cinco. I would get up at 3, 4, 5 in the morning to try to get an appointment, but I never had any luck, he says. Immigration attorney Melissa Lopez is the executive director of an organization that provides legal representation to migrants. Another one of Biden's new policies cuts down the time migrants have to find an attorney before they meet with an asylum officer for their credible fear interview. That's literally the door to the United States. If you do not pass your credible fear interview, then you likely will be returned to your home country. Over at one of the gates along the border fence, migrants continue to turn themselves into Border Patrol. Hundreds of them were bused to different processing centers despite Title VIII now in effect, which means migrants who get deported can be banned from re-entry to the U.S. for five or ten years. Back in downtown El Paso, Yanalis, Nestor, and their children are staying at a temporary shelter until they have enough money to make it to Chicago. Nestor and his family are set to see an immigration judge in April 2027. By then, they tell me they are hopeful and confident they'll be able to make their case to stay in the U.S. permanently. In El Paso, I'm Daniela Pardo, Spectrum News.